Ես դո դոր մի սկիզ գիբոր բենձից կյա։ Ամրոյցի բոր նաց եար ու գոմբար դիսեջ, ամբոչի մենի գարդույս է դունումորի վորմ պուչի դեղ, գարդեն է բես սվարդին է սվիչ մարույ վոջի, էլ զանաբարդ ես սետյու գոմարդի, ամրադի, ամրադի. On September 17th of last year, I made a commitment to sing every day for 15 minutes for a full year. And on September 16th of this year, I completed my commitment, having never missed a day. And I want to thank you. And I want to tell you about how this simple little practice has shaped the way I've experienced life. This 15 minutes turned into an hour when I started blogging about it, and I really wondered whether I could fit it in my day. But here's what happened. It was like my whole concept of time turned inside out. It was like instead of wedging something in, this practice became like a generational center of my day. It was like a fire <sighs> that the rest of the day gathered around. And even on my busiest days of the year, somehow time stepped aside to accommodate the practice. It was fun to know that wherever I was in the world, I would need to sing. I would need to find a way. So I sang on the plane crossing the international date line with a blanket over my head while people around me slept. <laughs> I sang walking next to this huge turtle in a tropical forest in Cape Town, this ancient beautiful thing that was going clop, clop, clop on the path and keeping time. Clop, clop, a ah, clop, clop, jamale, layo. And I sang in the little India section of Singapore, where I could hear calls to prayer from a nearby mosque. And I sang at home, day after day after day. And on those days when I didn't want to sing, I would sing some sort of resistance song, like, oh, needs but no. And no baby. Oh, God, but we should do Lord and the resistance would turn into music. I started singing indoors because it just felt safer and like I could be more free. But soon I was drawn outdoors into the open air and I would just walk out and I would listen to the singing world around me. I would hear squirrels on a fence, shimmering leaves, a weed eater down the block. And I'd listen to this chorus of the moment that was happening, and I'd find my part in it. <laughs> Sometimes it was like the world was singing so fully that there was nothing for me to add. Or like I was already singing, it just wasn't this mouth that was moving. So what did I sing? Well, it wasn't songs as you might think of them. It was more whatever showed up when I opened my mouth. And sometimes that was words, but more often it was just sounds and made up languages. So I'd go like this. I'd hit the timer, beep, open my mouth. And <sighs> Talking like Jaro did the Dow the Ching as a browsy get better scientist, everything brosy get base go boy. He said, You look like you need a shoulder rub, but I do so gem all right. Oh, the Shiatsu Branche por. Ah, Ziga Bordi es un bar. Amory Lovins, thank you, Bra Sobri. <laughs> Ochi me quiso brai, Hamrito, Ziga Bordi singing. Aboro sejo, e maracaya, o mi anari. Arufo cheiro, puro, ciro, pavarasio, carreia, ya ya ya, ye yo. You and me and Rosa shall he say to us every day. You know, the most amazing aspect. Thank you. 
the most amazing aspect of this year's singing was it was like I got to travel every day into the world beneath words. This is the world of color, of light, of vibration, of motion. It's a world that has no borders, no countries, and for me it feels like swimming. And I think we all know this world. I think our bodies are experiencing it all the time. They're experiencing it right now. We just tend to cover it up with a layer of words, ideas, thoughts about who we are or who we should be. But words are really flimsy messengers for the fullness of experience. And singing can bring us here. So my simple hope is that we'll sing more, that we'll sing our way into the world of our bodies and into the body of the world. This feels more important than ever. You can start, it's easy. You just start humming on your way to work or whenever it fits in in your day. Humming's great because you can feel the vibration of it. Mm. And then it's like a gateway drug to singing because, <laughs> because you kind of can't help do more. Mm. Humming's great because you can also keep it as private as you like. You can kind of do it in public and no one will know. And if you've ever thought about starting or restarting a daily practice, whether it be singing or sitting or just listening, my hope is that this can be a little gentle nudge. Because what I found in my year of singing was that time bows to authentic commitment and it stretches to accommodate it. Yes, brado di me, on bordo ko ski di bor. A chese de di vodis, on bordo ti sar bo, on jabar de gi. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.